Hi, yeah, it's uh, Xavier at the at the top of the garden for a change. Um, I was going to uh, hit straight into one of my um, really nice uh, maples uh, and do a decent prune on that. But uh, while I was uh, having a look at the elms doing some watering yesterday, I noticed that um, they are all heavily, heavily infested with scale. So I'm going to have to work my way around them um, and literally see where all the scale is on them. Um, and funny enough, the one I picked up is the one that got a little bit of scale, in fact it hasn't got any that I can see of, so let's pick one that actually has got scale on it. Um, there we go, here's one. Um, again, you, you've seen earlier, but the scale is, if you do it against my rather large stomach, the scale is there, it's a little white, a little white scaly insect, I don't know whether it's called mealy bug or something like that, but uh, yeah, they like to have a good uh, a good suck on these trees. So what I'm going to do is just go around and a quick spray around that thing with some soapy water. Got my toothbrush and uh, just make sure anything that is there gets removed. It's tedious. It's boring, um, but. I know last year I didn't do it, and funny enough, I didn't get there. You go, some under there. I didn't get the sort of the sort of results I normally expect from these. These normally flush out a lot. Um, so yeah, just going around, I'm brushing. They obviously they will suck the life out of your tree. Otherwise, while I'm here, I can take away some obvious bits I don't want and clear it up. Lower branches that aren't going to be needed. Um, I mean this is now starting to get quite a good set of growth, it's all very green and lovely, um, but I'll let this run a bit. Same with this one on rock, this one I might cut back soon. Just do the usual, remove from crotch areas and stuff, but no I'm not going to do any pruning on it yet. So that one appears to be clear, okay so that's done. And I'm literally going to work my way now through some of these and uh, we'll get rid of the scale. Get rid of that. Okay. So now I've gone on about this big problem and the next two that I've got don't seem to have any at all. Uh, no, so that one's clear. This one is absolutely infested. All under here, all under here, and the bark is looking a lot blacker. So I need to have a good look at this one. This is actually one that uh, I've done myself. Um, it was uh, a broken branch, a much larger elm. And it was in the days, oh, bike going by, and it was in days before I'd really been doing much bonsai. Um, I threw it in the dustpan there in the bin. Uh, sorry, the compost pile. Um, with no intention of keeping it and a year later I noticed it was still alive. Um, 
by that stage my interest in bonsai got a little bit better again. And uh, I potted it up. So you've got these really unusual roots. This is filthy. Oh. Yeah, so I mean, this goes back. 20 years, easily 20 years, it's three there. So I'd hate for this one to uh, suffer for lack of attention. Absolutely, but it's funny, I don't know why they pick some trees and miss others under the roots here. I think some people say it's because uh, it's an indication that the tree itself isn't particularly healthy. Um, so this one I'll get down for a, uh, a repot next year instead of the, the year after. So I'd hate for this one to, to die. I spent uh, most of yesterday uh, doing the, um, the light pruning that was required on all of my baby maple repots. I was going to do some videoing that but to be fair <laughs> there wasn't a lot to see really. I literally just reduced the upper growth to distribute strength to the lower branches but you know there's so much in uh, development that truth be I'm just building roots more than anything. Right, let's have another look on this. Oh, what else have we got in there? There's just one in there. Trouble with this root structure. Everywhere. Ever had a tree that had so much scale on it? Literally everywhere. So if you don't scrape them up, although the spray works with them when they're exposed, if you haven't yet exposed them, I don't think it uh, does much to break down that hard shell. Well, may oh. I mean, I've got all of them, but I've certainly got 80%. And the thing is, is that what you'll notice, you've just got to check them regularly. Um, they're still hidden under the bark. You won't notice them, but as soon as they start to lift, you see the white. So, all I'm going to do, um, <laughs> if I give you a pan round, as I say, you know I've got, what have I got here, about 25, 25 of them. I've um, got to work my way around. Is that another one here? Great big, uh, is that about 45 centimetres? So I'll work on that one next. And I've got a load just like it. I've got this one here. Again, well, that's looking fairly clean. You see the different colour in the bark? The bark's a much lighter colour than that other one was. So it could, I mean, uh, it makes sense, it relates to if a uh, tree is a little bit ill, that it's more susceptible. Anyway, enough of that. I'll uh, probably find this gets tacked on to something else. Okay, so from uh, from Xavier and the, uh, the lovely scale insects at the top of the garden, I'll say farewell for now. Cheers. That's a bit sour, actually. I won't do that again. <laughs>